saw my Dollar Tree haul from yesterday, you saw that I um, I picked this up in that Dollar Tree haul. So I'm going to use this along with some other tropical items that I have and I'm going to make a wreath. What I'm starting off by doing here is I want to make sure that I have 10 of these pipe cleaners on the outer ring and then I'm going to follow up with 8 pipe cleaners on the inner ring. And so um, just going to keep going around and attacking these. Things. I pray to the Lord, I rise to the Lord, gonna greet the Lord, I pray to the Lord, for the mother Jambele, everything being safe again, huh? everything for your Jambele, oh Jambele, oh, oh yeah. You are not a friend of me, no, baby you mean more to me. In that one, we use the awareness ribbon method. In this one, we're just going to do a poof method. So I'm going to put my, um, my wreath form aside for just a moment. And I'm going to start from this. And this is a 21 inch mesh, okay? I'm going to start from one end. And I'm just going to scrunch it up. I'm going to try to go as straight as possible. Although we will um, cut off the tip so that we can have, um, we can have a nice, Fresh start. Okay. Okay. Oh, make sure you hold on to it. You don't wanna, don't wanna lose it, okay? So we're gonna hold this here. And then we're actually gonna zip tie this to our base. So I like to start at the crossbar, so I'm gonna start here, right? Where that little crossbar is. And I'm just going to put this right underneath the crossbar. Let me show you there. Right underneath that crossbar area. And then let me zoom in for this so you guys can really see what I'm doing. Right. So I'm going to put this, um, the little starting piece here. Okay, so when we get to the end here, this is where we're going to use that first pipe cleaner that we put in. Let me 
see if I can zoom in again. See. Right where we put this very first pipe cleaner. I mean, yes, the first pipe cleaner that we had here and where our starting is. Now we're gonna actually use that pipe cleaner to secure this. Alright, so let me zoom back out. Man, it's so big, it's, the wreath gets so big so fast that it doesn't even want to stay inside the, the frame. I'm, I'm hoping you guys can see everything. Okay. So, I'm just going to fluff. All right. And now we're going to move towards the inside. Okay. So we're going to, remember we folded all of these in so that we wouldn't get, in, get them in the way. Now we're going to go ahead and pull them out so that we can see what we're doing. Right, we know that we're working in the middle now. Right, same thing, we're doing 10 inch poofs, but we're going to move up to the front, right? So we're starting back here, and we're moving up to the front in order to get that um, poof in on the first tier. I mean, on the center tier, my box. Right, we're gonna flush that out too. Like I said, you can wait till the end, but for me it just um, goes a little easier, a little faster in the process if I poof as I'm going. Alright, so, Shut that blue my mind. No distance, I come by my side. Everything is green over here. Oh, yeah. Everything you want and think about. No, I got your back all the way. And everything is alright. I like how you're doing alright, alright. Like how you think alright. Always on top of yeah, oh, yeah. Like how you do it alright. We just made it here to the end. Just try because normally, right here, there would be another one that I could hear, but um, I'm out of mesh. So, what we're gonna have to do is just really, really fluff these out here as well as we can so that we don't see any gaps. All right, all right. I want to see the I even have um, this pineapple that I thought would be really cool inside of it. So, okay, so I have this um, pineapple one here. Yeah, that, that's gorgeous. And then. See, I have this flamingo one, and it would not be so fitting. So flamingos and pineapples, of course. That's gonna be and then let's see, I have more pineapple ribbons here, which this blue will definitely go with that. So we're gonna use that one. And what else can we? Use? I like the yellow. Let's go with the yellow. Okay, so now do we do these pineapples together like that? Nope. All right. So I'm gonna put. It's always um like you can put together two and a half inch ribbon with two and a half inch ribbon, but because I really want to see these colors pop in the wreath, I'm gonna make sure I pair a one and a half inch ribbon with a two and a half inch ribbon. Same thing here, one and a half inch ribbon with a two and a half inch ribbon. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cut these down. So for right now, I'm just gonna put these to the side so we can have more space. She telling me she want to be my lover, I love you when she want to be my lover, My little baby girl rise with me. My little baby girl rise with me. Maria, Maria. We're gonna start with the blue. 
I just like to put mine at a bit of an angle because I really want to see those colors. So I'm overlapping them at an angle and then I'm going to pinch in the middle, pinch, pinch down, pinch back up so that I have this little, um, like a little, what do I want to call this? Mm, it's like a little birdie, okay? So then you're going to take it between your um, your index finger and your middle finger and then your thumb is on the bottom and you want to just fold it down like that okay fold it down we're gonna find one of our pipe cleaners and we're just gonna put that inside and we're gonna um, uh, secure it the same way that we secured the deco mesh going all the way around okay and then we can just fix our bows make sure they're nice and curved you can see that. Make sure that they're nice and curved. Okay. And then we're going to keep going around. And now remember we're alternating, right? So we're going between the blue and yellow and between and to the pink ones. Okay. So again, we're putting this at an angle, right? But we're still in our center and we're folding it up and down and up again. And then we're going to take, and it's so much easier for me to show you on the opposite side. We're going to take our index finger and our middle finger with our thumb position there. And we're going to push like that. Okay. Pushing in opposite directions. Gonna keep going around alternating. Everything go from body That part done now is the fun part we can start putting stuff on it I, love that. I have had this for like a year now just dying <laughs> to use it and haven't had the opportunity to so I'm very glad to have the opportunity now and then maybe put our sign over here what do you think or maybe not have this and then we can just tuck in the pineapple over here. Put the sign here and tuck in the pineapple over here. And are we going to do a bow? I love bows. I want to do a bow. So I think, okay, so poor guy. I was hoping we'd get to use him, but. Not this time. Alright, so we're going to use our relax sign and our pineapple. So let's go ahead and cut the tag off of the pineapple. Right, and then we also have to prepare our sign. So I don't need um, this part, so I'm going to cut that off. So I'm just going to put the wreath aside for a moment while well, we prepare our sign. So I'm just going to take a couple little pieces of cardboard, um, scrap cardboard that I have around here so that I can glue this. I want to glue some pipe cleaners to the back of this. We're going to put down some glue there and then we're going to put our pipe cleaner in between, and I'm going to put a little bit more, a little bit, quite a bit, and then I'm just going to put this little piece of cardboard over it. 
I'm gonna do the same thing down here. A little bit of glue. Put down my pipe cleaner. Put a little bit more glue. And there you go. I'm gonna let this glue dry and then that'll be done. So we did one at the top and the bottom of our um, of our sign here, so that's ready to go. So let's prep this pineapple for how we're gonna attach that to the wreath. So for this, I'm gonna use wire because I don't wanna poke through the pineapple itself, even though it is foam. Um, so I'm gonna use wire to do this. All right, so we're using floral wire. I'm just gonna Reel off a little bit of that. Let me use my little snippers here. Give that a cut. And what I'm going to do is tie it around the top of the pineapple because that's where I think it'll be um, least noticeable is around that top part there. So I'm just going to tie it around. And tie it back to the front and bring it back to the front. And then. Just tightening that up. Sorry if I'm not explaining very good. So, our sign is nice and dry. Our pineapple is ready to go. So let's go ahead and bring our wreath back up here. And let's figure out where we want to put this. Right, so we said we wanted to put our sign over here and our pineapple up here, right? So I'm gonna attach the sign first because I think I wanna do a bow for down here. And again, it's, you know, it's whatever you like, so you don't have to necessarily put the bow. I just, I love bows. So um, on mine, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put the bow. And um, if you like this wreath and you wanna purchase it, I will have it available um, for sale in my uh, Etsy store. Uh, tomorrow morning and then I will also have it available on my website also available on my website you can go there and um, join the design group if you like what I'm doing over here and you want to join and learn how to do it too then you can join my design group it is $17 a month um, and every month we're gonna get together and we're gonna make products that are exclusive to um to the design group not things that are done here on youtube so you'll be able to have that one-on-one -on -one interaction with me because they will be live videos um so there'll be one-on-one -on -one interaction with me you can ask as many questions as you would like and um you know get to know how to craft yourself a beautiful life you know so we're just what i'm doing is i'm pushing the wires down right through the deco mesh. So I'm pushing it right down through and I'm just catching it on the bottom. Let me turn it over so I can show you guys what I'm doing on the back end, right? So here, okay, so here is where I've um, pushed it through the deco mesh so I have both sides from the front and then I'm just gonna tie it around this bar here and I don't want to tie it too tight because I don't want it to be um, I don't want it to be flat on the other side. So I'm going to twist that there, and then we can just um, cut off our excess. I don't want to cut it yet, just because I want to make sure that when I flip it over, I have enough slack, right? Because I don't want it to be flat in the race. So let me widen it back out. Okay, and that looks really good actually. Because you don't want it to be too squished down. You want it to be, you know, upright and, but still secure. Okay, so now we're going to put our pineapple here. So let's push the wire through as on that side as well. So where we want it. And I'm just going to shift my ribbon here because I don't want to hide the ribbon. But I do, I like this spot for my pineapple. So I'm going to shift the ribbon and I'm going to push my pineapple wires right down through that mesh. 
yeah, that's exactly where I want it. Okay, so now I'm gonna flip it over, right? And I'm going to tighten it, you see here, zoom in again. I have my two pieces of wire here, so I'm just going to tighten them. But again, you know, not, um, not so tight that you're unable to um, maneuver it at all on the other side. I am going to cut this one because these wires are pretty long. So even if I cut it a little bit, I still have a little bit of room to go. Because so, we don't want anything flat, anything to be flat on the opposite side, right? So we don't want it to be all squished. We just want it to be secure. So let's go ahead and maneuver these, um, these ribbons over here. Let me zoom back out. I can see. You see, so now it's nice and secure. It's not going anywhere. Um, and then we can, we just moved our ribbons to the side here so we can still see those. We don't want anything hiding. And these ribbons, because they are wired ribbon, they are um, very easy to manipulate and you can put them wherever you want them. You are the boss. They go where you want them to go. All right, let's see a little bit of, um, hanging on my ribbon end, so I'm just gonna clean those up a little bit there. All right, oh, I love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so, bow to bow or not to bow? I do have another pineapple, so we can maybe do two pineapples on this, on this wreath. Um, hmm. All right. Let's try two pineapples instead of a bow. Oh, shucks. All oh, shucks. Well. Okay, so there's only one way to solve this riddle, right? Because I do like the two pineapples on there. So we're going to prepare this other pineapple. And we're going to put that on there. And then we'll make a bow and see if it works. If not, then we'll use it for something else. All right? Can't hurt. Cutting another piece of wire, and again, let me show you closer how I did this one. So, I'm putting it right where that dividing line is, and then I'm twisting it, All right? Then I'm gonna bring it back to the front. I'm gonna twist it again. Well, really, now this is gonna be the back. I'm gonna twist it again, and then again, and then again, and then again, to make sure that it's really secure on there, okay? All right. So, I can't reach that far. I'm gonna turn the reach around. Like it here. So same as I did before, I'm just going to push it down through the mesh. Okay, so those are secure there. Uh, let me flip it over. tight again because we want to make sure that we can manipulate where we put it on the front and if we tie it too tight then we won't be able to do that. I'm just going to cut the wire short and then wrap it around this bar here. Okay. So, hold on. Let's get our ribbons out of there. The ribbons are hiding, they're getting lost in there. So let's pull them out. Okay. I do like the two pineapples. I do, I really do. I like the two pineapples. I love it. 
I love it. Okay. So we're going to push the pipe cleaner through the same way that we did with, um, with everything else on the reef. We're just going to push it through the deco mesh all the way to the back and then we're going to tie it to one of the, um, one of the crossbars. Right, so now I'm just gonna fluff my bow a little bit. Nice and fluffy. So these tails here, space to show you. so for the tails here, I'm just, oh, let me put my tail on, if there's anything else. So, we're just going to start curling with our hands. Right? And because of that wire, it stays right where you want it. Okay? If you want to make it even tighter, then you can start by rolling it. Turn it at an angle or turn it, you know, facing downwards, and then you can loosen it up, and then you'll have even tighter of a curl. All right now, these longer ones we're just going to give them kind of a loose curl. My baby, I like you. My baby, I die for you. 